So good afternoon to everybody who's joining us all around the world. My name is Philip Fimano, and along with Lee Edelcord, we are the co-founders of the World Hope Forum. Many of you know that we have amazing ambassadors all around the world. And today we're going to be uh, welcoming Ragna Froda from Iceland, who is in Reykjavik, where they're doing a hybrid event today, actually, as part of Design March, which is, uh, of course, the big design festival, which um, takes place in Iceland every year. Ragna and Lee, are you there to say hello? Yes. Hi, Philip. Welcome, Ragna. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Thank you. Good to see you. I see the people are coming into the room, so it's nice. Yes, yes, they're slowly getting there. Some people are waking up in New York, where you're usually working, and others are in Asia. And of course, many here in Europe where it's raining today, so it's the perfect weather for a World Hope Forum, like the regular weather in Iceland also. So welcome everybody to the World Hope Forum here in Iceland. I'm very honored to be able to introduce um, so many creatives um, from Iceland today, both to everybody on, online, but also to Lee and Philip. And uh, this, in a way, we are bringing Lee to Iceland. She has never been here. So I think after this um, forum today, she will definitely come and visit us here. And, uh, and I thank them for the opportunity to be able to do this today. And uh, we are also lucky that we can become, that we are part of Design March. Usually Design March is in March, but because of COVID, it's now in May. And uh, so that's going to be a, it's a little bit different program. It has been going on now for three days and will continue until tomorrow. And uh, so it's a annual design festival we have here in Iceland and a lot of interesting events going on around the city. And two years ago, Philip actually came to Iceland to do a presentation during the yes. design So Lee, nice to see you. Good to see you Welcome too. Welcome to Iceland. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. I've never made it to Iceland and now I will be there this afternoon. Yeah. So that makes me very happy. Thank you for organizing this, Ragna. We know each other, I think, more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you started as an intern making textiles in my company in the last century. And now you are taking care of our company, which we have between Philip and me in New York. And so we work with you on a very intimate scale. We're very happy to work with you. And we organize also together the New York Textile Month, which is a big thing to um, an initi another initiative, which we have between us uh, to Philip and you and me to um, save the textile industry from disappearing. And I think we are successful after a few years and so yeah, I'm very happy, everybody, to be there. We're not enough yet. I guess we will grow in numbers while we go. Um, this is going to be a very um, interesting seminar because the island of Iceland is a very peculiar place. It has a very strong history. It has very strong roots. It's very volcanic, not just in the earth, but in the roots of people as well. It's therefore incredibly creative. I remember that it was somewhere in the 90s that I started to realize that many designers in the world were of Icelandic um, birth. And so it became very um, clear that in art and in music and in poetry and in textiles, there was so much going on and such creative, um, yeah, wild, wild forest. So we are in for a roller coaster of inspiration. We organize these um, seminars with our ambassadors for the World Hope Forum to give you hope, to hope that we can change the world, that we can change the economy into an, a more humane um, happiness economy, that we can turn around production processes, that we can turn around the way we work together, and that there is much more uh, compassion and integration of everybody involved. So it's a big agenda. We have big, big goals, but we are not going to do this just for a year. This is for the long haul. 
This is the new World Economic Forum in tiny scale. And hopefully we will uh, thrive as they once did and participate in the change of society, all of us together. So it's also to give us creative people, all of you listening, um, a place at the table of decision making, you not just making the money and then everybody else running away with it, but you also being uh, concerned in how it is diffused, how it reaches uh, consumers or collectors and so on. So it's, it's, uh, it has numerous uh, goals, but the most important goal now in the COVID last days, hopefully, is to give you also um, immediate hope uh, through uh, inspiring creativity, because that has helped us over, over this one and a half year. And it will help us also um, reconstruct, hopefully in a much better, more solid and more frugal way. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Philip, for being my uh, co-person in this adventure. Thank you, Ragna, for being the fantastic host of today. And enjoy, everybody. Thank you, Lee. And Ragna, I understand that you're in a special location today because you have um, opened it up to people to be able to come and see live. Yes, we are actually located in the headquarters of Farmers Market, which is um, a very beautiful clothing brand. We will hear the story today during the uh, webinar. And they invited us to stream from their um, from Bergthora Studios. It does all her designs here in the studio. And I'm looking so much forward to hear their, their story because it's quite unique to have a, such a successful uh, fashion brand in a country like Iceland that is placed in the middle of nowhere. And um, so I'm, I'm proud of them as my friend, old friend from Iceland. And we actually are also we have a screen in the store, so people can actually come and watch and meet us and have a drink and uh, chat, so that's nice. And But most of the speakers will speak from either the studios or their homes today, but some of them will actually come here, so that's nice. Wonderful. Well, we're all looking forward to it. I know there's already 350 people online, so maybe you can um, introduce the day. Yes, uh, we have a long list of speakers. It's a 13, um, I think it's uh, 13 slots. And we will start with um, one of our dear writers in Iceland, Andres Nair, and it's such a great honor to have him here with us today. And in my mind, he is a forecaster and a futurist who uh, speaks of ideas of how we can make the world a better hope a better place to be and um, and he's really thinking about the next generations which I think is so important and his um, uh, career started or he the, when I knew him uh, was because he of his children book what is it called Blau the story of the blue planet the story of the blue planet and um, so he has always been speaking to children and um, and he's able to make things, bring things into context, which I think is so important. So we will start with him. Then we have Katrin uh, Thorvaldsdóttir at Embla Mar, uh, and she will, we will see a film about her work, uh, working with seaweed. And then we have Búi Bjarmar, uh, Bergþóra and Joel here from Farmers Market, uh, Katrin Ólina and Sigrid Þorgeirsdóttir, um, designer and a philosopher working together in a concept called Minosophy. Um, we will have a short break at uh, 2.05 Icelandic time, and then you just need to calculate wherever you are in the world, what time it is for you. Uh, after the break, we'll have uh, Brynhildur, Sniper and Olivertla, who are speaking to us about the search of the porcelain. And after that, we have Valdis and Lilja from Fischersund, Helga, Studio Brynja and Veronica and Ragnar and Margaret, who are two of my former students, will tell us about their work and project and um, plot theta after them. And then we will have a um, very interesting Icelandic young designer, Björn Steinar Blumenstein, who will speak about 
uh, a project called Cut, Cuts of the Day, but we will introduce those projects a little bit more after, before they will actually uh, start. And, and then the Lee and Philip will give us a little uh, word uh, after we, before we finish. Uh, before I introduce Andre, I want to show you a little uh, few minutes long film about a project I did a couple of years ago. Um, I was uh, I got the honor to be selected the city artist of Kopavor, who is the next town to Reykjavik. And after I got this um, t title, I actually moved to New York. So I had to work my project from New York and uh, I did it from Queens. But um, I worked with uh, children, 10 year old children and um, uh, people from um, pension home who, uh, so I gave them a project to work on. And my idea was to have those two, the youngest and the oldest generation speak together. And we have a saying in Iceland that says, um, the young ones learn and the old one teach. But my, um, feeling is now with how the world has been changing that we can even turn the saying around and say the old one learns and the young one teaches. And it was a very heartful project for me because I got to have a dialogue with those two generations of people and uh, bring them together. And to me, it's I have done many design projects and creative projects in the past, but this one just felt really heartful to me. and. Um, so it ended with a big piece of textiles that uh, will hang in the school of the kids. So they will have their uh, work shown there in the future. And this is just to start off uh, the webinar today. And uh, it's also very related to what we will be speaking of today. So enjoy this little film before we hear Andres Nair talk about his work. Okay, let me see. Ég sit inn á vinnustofunum inn í New York og var að taka mér grímuna mína sem að ég fyrir með út alltaf þegar ég fyrir út og að því að nú er COVID og þess vegna er ég hérna í ennþá í New York, átt að vera á Íslandi Mars og halda fyrir lestur í bókasafninu en ég er sem sagt fekk hann að titil á síðast ári, fekk hann að heiður og hann að titil að vera maður að bæjalista maður Kópaus sem er náttúrulega bara stórkostlegt. Í oktober síðastinu þá fór ég til Íslands og byrjaði að vinna með tíu ára bekk í Salaskóla og eldri borgunum á Gjálbakka og í Gullsmára. Fór með herrastyrtur sem ég veslaði hinn í New York og klifti þær í búta og hver þáttakandi verkinu fekk út sem hann teiknaði á og saumaði svo út í. Og svo komu dætur mínar í heimsóknum jólin og þær komu með bútana og ég er búin að vera að vinna að búa til verk úr þessu sem að er hérna bakunni. Við áttum að gera sjálfsmynd sem lýsir okkur sjálfum. Ég gerir blóm. Og af hverju lýsir það þér? Því ég elska náttúruna og það gaman að vera úti. Já, mér finnst þetta að vera hérna svona bók sem ég er að sauma og vera sjálfsmyndin mín út af því að ég skrifa oft bækur og þetta getur verið svona bók lýsir þannig að ég skrifa kannski hérna ástíðinar og líka og bara sýni hvað ég hef lent í 
að lent í, hverju hefur lent í, svona tappnum. Hvað sem er þú? Ég veit það ekki, það sem er eitthvað út í loft. Og hvernig lýsir það þér? En ég er opin fyrir einhverju ný. Þetta er mótorhjól sem er að hoppa og af því að þetta lýs mér af því að mér er skaman á mótorhjóli og já. Já, ég er bara að gera sólinn af því að mér finnst skaman í sólinn og mér finnst ég alltaf brosa á hann frá. Það er svona að gera í sólina. Já, þetta er ljósmyndari. Mikilvægur punktur í þessu verkefni, það var að láta þess að tvær kynslóðin, þess að elst og yngstu kynslóðin að eiga samtal. Svo fóru sem sagt litlu krakkarnir og hittu gamla fórtíð og þau sýndu hvort að þau hvað þau voru að gera. Og þetta er náttúrulega bara ótrúlega áhugavert sko að vinna með þetta, finnst mér. Þú veist, ég var til að vinna með svona hópum ykkur annars þar. Það sem maður er, það sem ég reyna að þú ert að gera svona regeneration. Þegar ég var að vinna þetta verkefni hérna með krökkunum og eldri borgum í Kópásbæ þá byrjaði í raun að vera á því að eiga þetta samtal við hópana um hvað það er að nota fötun okkar lengur en þú veist þetta einnota hugmyndafræði að hún sé úrælt að það skipti máli að við fyrum vel með fötun okkar og við látum þau ganga og að gera við og auðvitað sjálfsögðu eldri borgarar náttúrulega er svo kynslóð sem að hérna kann að gera við og þetta er það vel og ég átti ekki þetta endilega vona því að litlu krakkarnir væri þannig að þau hefði svona einhverja hugmyndinu þetta en það komið mjög óvart hvað þau voru jákvæð og hérna og opin að tala um hvernig þeirra fatnaður hérna gengur til frank og frenda og litlu systina og svo framvegis þannig að Það sem mér hefur þótt skipta máli að það er þetta að búa til svona verkefni þar sem að maður getur átt þetta samtal. Þannig að ég er bara svolítið spennt fyrir framtíðinni þó ég sé hérna föst hérna í kvins og vakna inn og fyrir að sofa inn og fara að ganga með grímu á daginn sem að er úr sama efni og þetta er sem sagt afgangur úr hérna styrtefnum sem fór í þetta verk.